At the moment, at least 14 schools have major damage, some potentially beyond repair. But about 50% of schools have low impact damage, meaning if water and power are turned back on, then potentially that school could reopen. Today, I talked to District Superintendent Dr. Christopher Bernier, asking him when reopening of the schools could happen. We are not committed to a reopening on Monday. We have to look at all of our situations. That's what Lee County School Superintendent Dr. Christopher Bernier told me after I asked when students will be heading back to school. We're after the safety of our students and making sure our students and our faculties return to a safe environment. Envi meaning schools, is what building inspectors are looking at now. Some schools heavily damaged are Lexington Middle, Cafarata, and many of the barrier islands. The goal of my team is by Thursday afternoon to have a recommendation to me as the status of school reopening as of Monday. There are a lot of logistics to figure out, though, brought up during Tuesday's school board meeting. Two schools are being used as a shelter, such as South Fort Myers High. It will stay this way as long as the county needs them. You're here. Dr. Bernier mentioned a tiered approach to returning to school, but didn't describe what this could entail. We don't have hard answers at this point this early after the storm. A storm that's impacted us all one way or another. We're going to get schools reopened as quickly as possible, but this is a transitional and development environment. Now, besides inspecting buildings, crews are making some progress and cleaning up the schools from debris. And as far as those schools that have major damage where students may not be able to go to, several ideas were brought up to help those students, such as portables or even virtual learning. But Dr. Bernier says that all options are at the table right now. Reporting in Cape Coral, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.